I'm gonna go ahead and put together a little project for my office. Let's go check it out. Alright, so I kind of had like an idea. I have a problem with throwing things away. Anybody that knows me knows that that's part of my issue. I've got a couple of projects that I can do. Or at least something to keep me going. This closet right here. This thing right here. Top to a desk that one of my clients was throwing away. I'll take it. It's just a cheap piece of pressed laminated wood with a couple of nice connections to it, which is kind of cool. Then I got this. This is more scraps right here. Piece of plywood, four and a half feet long. Is that? This is just a very basic shelf, kind of bored right now. This will also get rid of some of the stuff I've got just laying around doing nothing. And make my wife happy. I'm minimizing the stuff I've got so I can have a little bit less stuff. I got a pile of scrap wood that I keep. Final piece. All right, right here. Piece of poplar, two and a half inch, three quarter. Hey guys. So this is gonna be my building table right here, kitchen counter while the wife is away. So the first thing you gotta do is make sure the surface that you're working on or using is completely free of any debris, anything that might be in the way. Now that your surface is clean, take the materials and lay them out. Reclaim desktop board, piece of scrap plywood that I used for shelving, piece of poplar, or some trim on that shelving. It's easy, literally just making use of what you got. It's gonna help clear up my office a little bit, be a little bit more organized, getting rid of it, putting it on the wall, being able to place objects now that are kind of like on my desk and put them right on top of the wall. It's gonna be perfect. So now that I've got my stuff all laid out, you need to stand this board up. You know we're on a pretty square or level surface or flat surface. The Gatorade bottle, place that in the middle. Maybe use this candle. Get this out of the way take this board and go ahead and stand that up so that it's literally just touching the base. Do the same thing on this side. Boom. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just take this desk board. I'm gonna line it up right to the bottom right here where black line is. It's just gonna help with my measurements. And that simple, easy, quick, why toss it attitude. Just make it happen. Get it done. Simple, quick, easy shelf. So to start, what I'm gonna do, it's called eyeballing along the edges here to get in alignment so that the board is placed even because one of the things that drives me absolutely insane is I'm kind of, I guess, in some ways a symmetrical person. I guess that's my OCD. But anyway, so I'm gonna grab a tape. Hey guys, you wanna go? Whoa. Junk drawer number one, tape measure. Get some numbers. So I'm gonna go from this edge here, just basically hitting the tape at the edge of that black tube. We got 15 inches on this side, eyeballing it, got me at 14 and a half, which is pretty close. So now I'm just going to slide that board over the way this shelf is looking. This is pretty much how it's going to mount. going to mount on the wall that way, going to have a smaller bottom shelf right there, a wider big shelf. It's just wood that I've had. Literally all I have to do is just shift it over that way towards the right a quarter of an inch. So the easy way to do that, if you can't eyeball it, which I pretty much can, take your tape measure out. You got your measurement here, and then just literally just slide it that way. Just a quarter of an inch. And I can use this as my gauge right here. Now that it's slid over, see what we got for a measurement on this side now. So on the left side, we're at 14 and three quarters. And on the other side, 14 and three quarters, right on the nose. Now just to make it a little bit easier on me, illuminate the situation. Just gonna take a pencil, focus. Doesn't really need to be sharp. And my distance from this way to that way is perfectly in line where I need it to be. So all I'm gonna do is just take a pencil, just quickly draw out a little bit of a circle here. And again, this is just a shelf for me. This isn't anything that I need to be like absolutely insanely perfect. Perfect enough for me. And then move it over to this side, do the same thing. Take your pencil, mark it out. The reason why I'm drawing these circles around there is just to get me my center line, and it's just the fast way to do it. Lay it down. Nice. Get these out of the way. There's my circles. One circle there, one circle on that side. Now I'm gonna drill it. So just to show you how dead on that was. Number right there. I don't know if you can see that. 14 and 5 eighths. Let me go to the other side. Fourteen and five. Just gonna take a ruler. It's 
got both centimeters and inches on it. I use inches, so. Well, then again, maybe I should use centimeters just because it's going against the grain. So all I'm looking for is just to get a basic center line. When you line up zero here, all you're doing is you're just pivoting until you get the largest number. Draw the line. Do the same thing on this side, draw my line. I can see that it's a little off. I'm gonna eyeball it. That's where my hole's gonna be and on this side. Same thing. I'm literally just eyeballing this because you can. I'm not like some kind of amazing, incredible person by any means. Just get things done. Now we're gonna go ahead and drill it. Good practice too. Get your trash barrel out. Put your trash barrel underneath so that it catches any debris that's coming from where we're gonna drill that hole right there. Get my drill, my drill bits. Check the battery status. Three bars. Drill bits. Now all I need to do is just pick a bit, the right size diameter for the screws that I'm using. I mean, those screws that I'm using are these right here. Find a drill bit that's going to exceed that screw. Focus. There we go, good enough. All right, so look that one right there. The 5 16 bit that we're gonna use. It's just basic, easy stuff that just literally anybody can do. It's gonna have a washer to back it up anyway, so it doesn't matter. I mean, I could go huge on it. Go ahead and put the bit in the chuck. Just throw the gun in reverse. Put the bit in, tighten it up. Put it forward, tighten it up. Give it a crank and just go ahead and drill it. that one and like a friend of mine says it's not rocket surgery perfect set the board back up make sure that you're overhanging so that when you're drilling you're not taking your drill bit and going into the countertop because that wouldn't be any good because then your wife might get mad if you just start drilling on the countertop and forget so just make sure you're overhanging that way you're not gonna get in trouble Hold there, hold there. So now that it's all drilled out, now it's assembly time. Flip this piece around. Grab the reclaimed desk piece that we had. Set that up. Take the piece of plywood, line it up. Looks good to me. Take my screws. I gotta find out what size Allen that is. Washer, focus. Some homes, this is known as junk drawer. I call it the treasure box. So inside of here, there's just Everything but the kitchen sink. There's all kinds of stuff in here. So now I just need to find an Allen that's gonna fit this. And look at what's in here. Hose in. Light. Oh, it's just right here. Let's check it out. See, look at that. It fits right in there. It's exactly what I needed. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and run this screw into this hole. Use this washer. Put it on that Allen cap screw. Put the Allen wrench in it. Slide it into its hole. And run it in. Not super tight. Maybe back it off a little bit. Same thing. Washer, cap screw, Allen wrench. Run it in. And look at that. There you go. <laughs> look at the <laughs> butterfingers. So look at that. Absolutely perfect. I mean, it's literally right in its spot. Almost done. If you're wondering what this poplar was for, this piece right here, the three-quarter by uh, two and a half or something around there. Let's see, what is it? Close. Come on, focus. Two and six. Two and five eight. For a guess, that was good. And what that's for, studs on a wall, on a wall surface. At least in New England, on newer construction homes, there's 16 on center. And there's a number of different ways that you can go ahead and find that center line. Sometimes you can look down the wall. Right here in my house, believe it or not, right there I know for a fact there's a stud. And that's because I also do sheetrock. I mean, literally I do everything, so. So what this piece of poplar is for, it's gonna be the support that go on here. I'm gonna find the center line here, center to center, two boards, two of those boards cut down. Cut down to take the tape out, so. Basically, that board's gonna be cut down to about a six and an eight, is what I'm seeing. Somewhere around there. The other easy way to do it, too, is take the board, 
So what I'm gonna do is just take this piece of wood, slide it on that end right there, put a mark underneath, lining where I wanna cut that board. And when I do that, I wanna make sure that I'm cutting on this side of the line, not that side of the line. If I cut on this side of the line, then it's gonna be too short. Same thing on the other side, take a pencil, throw in a line. Done. If anybody's even touching the saw or putting their hands on the saw, hopefully they kind of know how to operate it and know how to cut and know what side of the line to cut on. It's a lot easier to take material off after the fact if it doesn't fit and you sand it off or whatever. You're not going to be adding material. I mean, you can. Suppose you can shim it with paper or if you've even seen uh, shimming it with cardboard, something that compresses. But I'm um, gonna go ahead and do this the right way. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and get my saw and cut those boards. So the saw that I'm about to grab right now, it's a little bit overkill for the job. I haven't got my cordless saw, so that's not gonna work out. And the saw I'm gonna use is this bad boy right here. 12 inch sliding compound, Chicago Electric, I'm afraid. Grab my board. We're gonna go ahead and work outside right now because setting that saw up inside the house really isn't um, gonna work out with the wife. So, um, my saw just set up right here in the sun. I've got the little laser line, I don't know if you can see that. Absolutely perfect. This one on this side. Perfect. Pre drill holes, two of them on this side, this side for that block that's there, that block that's there, and then the same thing on the other side right here. Drill two holes, boom, boom. Same thing on this side, boom, boom. Just two pilot holes for now. I just need them to go through and attach to these pieces right here because these pieces are what are going to be attaching to the studs on the walls. Because of the size of this, I'm just going to decide whether I'm going to do 16 on center for each board, mark it up, find my center line across this board here from left to right, just go all the way across, find my center point, and then basically measure off from that. When I measure off from that, I want to get my 16 on center, so literally that's going to be a name 16. So if I'm going to do it that way, that's how I'm going to attack that. So my top board here or bottom board, whatever it ends up being, the one that's facing me right now. I know that that top board is 48 inches across, so the center of that's going to be 24. So what I'm going to do is just put a mark right at 24. That's going to be my center line for there. Then from there, to get my centers, measure over 8 inches. side measure over eight inches there's the center for that and do the same thing duplicated on the other board you go ahead and take your block of wood line it up to where you know that measurement is where that line is then you can either line both sides so you basically know where you're going to be putting your holes one right there in the center one right there in the center and that way you know you're going to get right into this board right here now what I'm going to use is a 1 16th drill bit and it's literally to just throw a pallet hole into this wood just so that the drywall screw which I'm using is looking to drive through this 3 quarter inch fake pressed wood into my poplar. I'm going to set the clutch down on this so that I'm not driving it through this. I'm just going to torque them down so they're flush.
quick grip hammer. Tighten up the Allen bolts. So that's just the super easy and quick shelving unit. It's going to be used for my office. Just making use of scrap materials. Quick and easy. So here's what it looks like all installed. Real easy. PlayStation 3, that's my upstairs one. Some like camera gear, fly cams up there, my housing, small pack, my large pack, with the Zomi tripod right there. Um, my, yeah, we're not gonna call that right there. My Zune Smooth 3 gimbal. Just needed some oh, space to throw all my stuff up here. So that works out. Hey, I, I who's this guy? You gotta go visit this guy. Joe Daddy's Garage. I'll leave a link in the description. Hey, gang.